Yes, we are going live into the match once more. Apologies for that delayed start, but we are live. And the joust has already concluded. Players just zipping right past it. Our orange team, which is Ouroboros, will be able to take it away. Potentially might have had an early goal opportunity too, but it looks like they're looking for a potential three-porter here, so they're not going to throw the disc at it just yet. Oh, looks like an attempted pass back there. Doesn't quite connect, and the gravity is going to get the clear. There's only one player very deep. I believe that is Vitrex going deep. Can he goes for the shot? Oh, oh he just misses it. Luke is going to give time for Ouroboros to recover. Should be able to get a ball. No, goes for a pass. Cross pass. Plays it safe. Perfect. So it looks like they're going to go for a little passing game. Gravity trying to boost round. And they're going to go for a deep clear. So the question is, who is going to get to this first? Quick re-grabs coming for both players. In fact, two two stacks end up running into each other. Viatrex with control. Passes it back. And unfortunately, his teammate Boop is not ready to pick it up immediately. Ends up going back down to the Torrent's control. Who's going to take it further back into Ouroboros' own territory. A pass forward. Sends it to his teammate. But it looks like the pass was either off a little bit or he had to tap it forward. Either way, Sundance gets control. He's got to be careful, though. Viatrex right on his back. Nearly steals it away, but he completes the pass beforehand. Now into Ambient's hands, back over to Sundance, and it's back and forth between those two players right now as they're trying to juggle it further up the field. Yeah, so the passing going back and forth here. Oh, looks like Vitrix might get... No, he doesn't. Uh, Ouroboros do get a clear. So Gravity got all four three members out on goal right now. This is going to give a chance to Ouroboros. Almost gets a rebound. Looks like Vitrix will get a clear. Can this go deep? It looks like it's going to get stuck in the tunnels. Ouroboros are going to recover just in time. Gravity pressuring. No, Ouroboros are going to hold on to this right now. Getting into a good spot. Gravity just getting people back in goal in time. So it looks like Ouroboros is going to try and set up here. Yeah, they'll be set up in Ouroboros, like you said before. We're going to have to try get a bit of a passing routine going with Gravity having their full defensive matrix set up. Already inside of the three-point bubbles, only two points max from this goal. But either way, the shot off the backboard, seemingly to pass through their teammate, just does not connect on anyone from Ouroboros. So it very quickly is cleared by Gravity. And they as well have a quick two-stack to race over to the other side. Yeah, really fast and aggressive play here. Lots of a couple of little misplays, misspasses coming out left, right, center. Now the problem, oh, that's it. Gravity going, oh, oh it thing. almost goes for Apatero, not able to secure that. Passes, gets a toss back across, is going to get the stun out on the goalkeeper and the defender. And he is, looks like he's going to get possession. So Gravity going to be looking to set up here. Quick back pass off to the back. Viatrex passing to Boop, back to Affen. Looks for another pass, back to Viatrex, and he locks it in for two points. Nicely done from Gravity. Definitely a brawl, taking off literally half Half the time from the round just on this volley alone. But Gravity finally get that very clean pass rotation going between each other and are able to secure that two-pointer. We, of course, saw Ouroboros trying to attempt that a few times themselves, but it was a little bit messier for them. There's some missed passes, like you were saying, or Gravity interrupting it at some point during the process. They're the first ones that complete it, though, and get the disc in goal. Yeah, so I think that's something to mention is that, obviously, with teams that really do like to pass, something that happens when you pass a lot is that for every pass, you have a chance of making a mistake. So the more you pass, the more that chance increases. So as you you see with some teams, they actually try to pass it as much as they need to, not doing it unnecessarily. That said though, Gravity getting to get a steal off really early here. Looks for a shot and oh, Viatrix is going to juke the Keeper, throw himself down, get it in the back corner. Keeper can't really do anything there. Not good for Ouroboros, unfortunately, but like you said, the Keeper not able to do much in that situation because the steal happened so prematurely in the round. Gravity just making the best of a bad situation for Ouroboros there and taking two points on top of it. So considering that this was 0-0 just 10 seconds ago, this is now a pretty massive lead being put up by Gravity as long as Ouroboros aren't able to find a quick response. That said, although Ouroboros didn't necessarily execute that the best, I actually think the intent was actually really good there. Playing a short pass works great against a two-man stack. So technically speaking, they actually did the right play. It's just the execution wasn't quite there. So we're going to see some really quick cross-lane passing here. Gravity doing a great job pressuring. Good pass to go. Oh, and as we were talking about before, that extra pass, that extra chance of making a mistake ends up getting punished. And looks like Gravity might be able to recover this. A bit messy brawling going on outside of the three-point circle. Athens going to pass across goal, and oh no, Sundance ends up holding on and intercepting that before it can get across. Yeah, Sundance just waiting right on top of the force field. Catches Affentier with a bad clear, manages to steal it away, finding a response to the two goals that were scored earlier by Gravity. Make this a little bit more Starting even. Only in. one more 15, goal behind, potentially, 14, with the capability to take a lead on a three-pointer here. Ouroboros are back into 11, it. And still plenty of time to find their way into the game as well, with still just under two minutes remaining on the clock. Yeah, so Gravity going to be coming out of the joust here. We've had Ouroboros go for, I think, uh, one joust so far. So this is going to be first Gravity joust with possession. Really fast pressure from Ouroboros here. Fantastic play from them. Able to get the disc really early, but they lose it. Isn't, doesn't get the call out from his teammates about the pressure coming out. Looks like Gravity going to have possession of this. Oh, going for a long shot. Oh, no, just misses. 
just misses to the side. Disc is going to be coming out again. Ouroboros might be able to recover this. Now, the question is, is he going to pass back or clear? Goes for the pass back. And looks like they might be able to hold on to possession for a little while. Gravity spread out quite far here. Torrent, he's going to be able to pick it up. Goes for the back pass over towards Ambient. It's a bit messy, though. Ends up bouncing a little bit more than they would have liked. And now Viatrex is going to capitalize upon that. Isn't able to stun out Ambient just yet, but gets the job done a second later. Viatrex also be taken care of, but it was the clear that mattered, and they accomplished that. Meanwhile, Torrent, Jukin, the two members of Gravity, able to steal dispossession back over to his team. It goes into their past of defender. It's possession, and then back forward again. But the problem is Gravity are remaining forward on the field here. Boop takes it, but is interrupted. Ambient slaps it back just across the midfield here. The bouncing is going to take it further back into their territory slowly, but it does not look like Gravity will have good control anytime soon, or at least not without a struggle, as Ouroboros do slap it back to the midfield, but right into Affentera's hands. It's now in Boop's control inside of the three-point line. They're just going to try to round it around the back, and they complete it with Boop, sinking the goal itself for an additional two points. Gravity reasserting that lead now with only about 40 seconds left. Yeah, be absolutely great fight so far. I mean, both teams kind of back-to-back Disc getting cleared and then usually recovered by the defense. So it's kind of been a back and back clear. A couple missed passes which have resulted in the switch in possession, but they haven't actually resulted in anything. Um, Gravity seemingly, when they've been able to get possession in the other half, when they've actually had some time to do the passing they want to do, they've been able to lock it in. So it's going to be good, good to see what Ouroboros come out with now. Up here comes the launch. And we'll see, like you said, if Ouroboros are able to make up for this deficit. A few three-pointers they might be able to find their way back in, but they need to be done in relatively quick pace. And when goals haven't scored, unfortunately, they haven't been very quick, with the exception of the stolen goal that Gravity was able to get on their second mark. 30 seconds left, as you just heard the announcer call out now, so time is running very low for Ouroboros to make their mark. They'll push forward. The disc will go incredibly close to the goal, but Ambient lost control. The stun goes off, however, and they are able to slap it in. Sundance scoring this time. And now they'll have 19 seconds to try and score one more time. Otherwise, Gravity will still take the map. Yes, yeah, so, so close to both those players getting the defense. You can see the slap that came out from Sunlight there, like literally not wanting to hold on to it for more than a fraction of a second. Just enough contact to push it into the goal. So we're going to see 19 seconds on the clock here. Gravity with a two, two goal or two point lead. So the question is, are Gravity going to be able to hold this and how fast are Ouroboros going to come out? That's the real question. Oh boy. I have the answer to that one at this moment. We already saw one act of very, very fast aggression for them. And once again, they're coming quickly down the field a little bit too quick in one player's case as he overshoots right past the player that ends up with dispossession. He'll be able to swing himself back into it here. So we are going to see them be able to retrieve it on their side of the arena, but this is all Gravity needed to accomplish. They didn't need to score another goal. They just needed to get rid of it, and they've done that. Without anyone from Ouroboros down over on Gravity's side of the field, it will conclude with Gravity leading 6-4, to four, giving them round number one. Yeah, absolutely great play from both sides. I, I definitely feel like what I was saying before about Ouroboros having a good day is correct <laughs> based, on, yeah. based on this game so far. Uh, Ouroboros having a good day. Uh, that said, though, both both teams come out with some missed passes here and there. I think you saw the potential like cross pass from Affen getting picked up. Uh, and again, just at the end, Sundar's just getting his hand on it before, before I think it was again Affen uh, on, on defense there. So we're seeing a, a mixed bag, I'd say, out of both teams so far. Um, see some interesting jousts, though. And as we were talking about before, about this really fun initial joust, we should be able to see if either of these teams are going to attempt that now. We'll see if we can check that out. It's going to be best to pay attention to the minimap and see if that's the case. And it does look like it. We've got both of our teams kind of holding back further in the tunnels than we're normally used to. Yeah, gravity like is all the way off the minimap, you can see. So they're definitely going for it. So the question is, can they pull it off? Up here, we're going to go. Teams will launch it. It does look like Ouroboros very much get the lead on the exit from the tube. However, they launch themselves forward, end up with possession. They will lose one of their forward players here as he gets punched out. However, we are going to see Ambient just go right into the goalkeeper's pen. And unfortunately, will miss. It gets blocked out by Gravity. They take it back down to midfield. Yeah, Affen just, just being Affen right there. Uh, <laughs> what he's known for. And Gravity going to boost into this, get a great shot from range. And Affen saving the disc, clearing it, going collecting it, and then scoring. Open Viatrex just hanging out. They're just watching <laughs> right now, you know? Affen getting the job done all on his own. Like you said, Affentair being Affentair. Definitely one of the most yep. fun and one of the most individually skilled players we've seen on the circuit here so far and having multiple seasons of experience, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's been to every world final so far. Uh, just one of the well, most well-known defenders, obviously, as you can see there for a very good reason. Uh, he's someone you definitely don't want to be going in goal when you're trying to take a shot. So um, that said, he can be worked around outside of the goal area. So the question is, are Ouroboros going to be able to do just that? 
What we'll see is they, of course, will end up with the possession advantage. Nice little juke from Ambient. Works his way around the two-man offensive team for gravity, but not forever, though. Viatrex is able to take it back, sending it right inside of the three-point bubble here on Ouroboros' yes, side of the map. It's going to be a race for control of it. Ouroboros need to establish defensive positions, and quickly, they'll end up with something better. Disc possession. Ambient sends it over to Torn, and Torn will probably look for the midfield clear now. Nope, it's a pass to Sundance instead. They're looking to maintain control as they approach the side tubes. That's when they'll go for the full-on clear. Unfortunately, they're going to lose Sundance in the process. He gets punched out, but it won't matter. Torrin slides it in from just outside of the three-point bubble, tying the game up now at three to three. Yeah, I feel like, uh, as you can see just at the very end there, when that disc got cleared, I think there was a two-man stack from uh, from Ouroboros' side. And unfortunately, I think one player from Gravity might be boot actually punched out the wrong person, which what that means is that when you then do that, rather than the whole stack stopping, you only get one person. Six, Here we go, folks. Five, the launch coming out again. Gravity four, should be able to maintain three, possession as they will have the joust advantage. Disc will be on their side of the arena. Here comes the launch, but again, so fast and aggressive here from Ouroboros. They're going to be right in their faces very quickly. It seems that the Gravity might have got the better end of it. They are going to have to try and work their way past Ouroboros' defenders, though, as they very quickly established defensive presence after missing that initial launch to try and take the disc away. Half and tear with a pass to the left side of the arena to Viatrex. Viatrex sends it down to Boop. Boop back up over towards Affen. He's holding the back line right now, looking for his best option to go for a pass. Holds it for a moment into Viatrex, and then a quick pass inside right to the goal with a fast two-point for gravity to score again. Yeah, pass, 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 shoot. Seems to be yeah. the, the, the order of things there for gravity. Uh, lots of passes coming across. Lots of, like, I'd say quite risky ones as well, because it looked like Ouroboros are really close to intercepting those, but just out of range, just enough that gravity were able to get just a hand on it to get the next pass off. Um, so Ouroboros going to come out of this possession now. They've played this relatively slow for the last two, and I'm going to wonder, I'm wondering if they're going to try and switch it up, because I think it could be improved slightly on this initial joust. Here comes the launch again. Oh, Sundance just barely getting rid of the disc in time there. Stunned pretty much the second he let go of it. So he does release. The problem is Ambient, who we meant to receive the disc, also gets punched out here. So Viatrex is going to take possession, start to move forward. A great juke from Viatrex. Viatrex, excuse me, sending himself back there to save the day. He's also going to have to take possession as he'll lose one more of his teammates. And the disc goes loose overall here. Sundance will get punched out again as he tries to move forward. But it is once again Torin, in fact, that ends up own goaling, unfortunately, trying to save it as Gravity are able to sink the goal. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but I felt like either Torin lost tracking on his controller or he shielded because he just saw this thing coming at him really fast mm. and just like kind of reaction shielded. But the disc ended up bouncing off his head in, into the goal. Uh, not sure exactly in what order that happened, but uh, unfortunate series of events there. It does only result in a two-pointer though, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, it could be worse. Or of course, do you have possession again? And this isn't an insurmountable lead with three minutes on the clock. At very minimum, if anything out of that one, Torin was at least able to convert it from down from a potential three-point NC where it was shot from, so I don't know if we were outside the bubble or not. But he converts it, like I said, down from a three-pointer to a two-pointer by giving the own goal. So it's not the end of the world there, as it still allows them to have the potential to come back with another three-pointer of their own and one additional goal. They can still very easily take the lead, and we still have over half the time left on the clock. Aggressive press that's going to be coming to Team Gravity's side of the arena here right now. Or Boris looking to do their own passing routine. Torrent to Sundance. Sundance trying to force it in, but no, it's intercepted by Gravity. Saved in the attempted goal and set back to the other side of the arena by Boop. Yeah, so great little save there. Uh, good little defensive switch. Oh, that was a really fast joust. Uh, not a joust, sorry, regrab. And oh, we're Ooh. having a shot from down range. Gravity go for a shot. Boop going for another shot and locking it in for a three. Missed the first one, not going to miss the second. Going to be able to push themselves forward. We got the nice ding coming off the first attempted miss there as well. But on the second one, like you said, they do sink it much more successfully, nearly right in the center as well. The great shot coming in from Boop to secure the three-pointer and really push that lead forward here now for Gravity into double digits, even seven points ahead of Ouroboros, leaving them very much out of the field for the time being. They have to try and find a quick way to turn this game back on its head, or we could be looking at a fast 2-0 for Gravity. Yeah, so it seems like they've been sending it to the right-hand side. Every joust of... Oh, so they're playing it short now, which I really like. This is a great way to break this stack up. But the thing is, they now need to move forward because they have limited time here. They need to move this stack forwards. They need to do it quick. They've got some possession here, so they're not doing bad with this. Getting some more passes out in a really good spot here. Open goal. This should be a short attempt coming through. And oh, no, he goes for the pass. Maybe he was too worried about the stacks getting back in time, which is a legitimate thing. So we're going to see them set up for a normal two-point goal here by the looks of it. Keeper is out. 
doesn't shoot in time. This is really difficult. How's he going to take this? Oh, he tries to go through all three players, and it doesn't quite work out. Gravity getting a boost straight away. Boop going for a shot. Oh, just comes off the shield. Not going to be able to get that in. Or Boris might get position back here, and they are. Yeah, so this should be another clear from them. Yeah, Sunnets hits the ride on the two-man team from Gravity that was trying to ride over towards Oral Boris' side of the arena, and he was able to run enough interference, it seems, to stop the goal from happening. That doesn't mean they're out of hot water just yet, though. The disc is still very, very close. In fact, just on the outside of the three-point bubble right now, there's the nice, clean, clear. We wanted to see, however, Sundance sends it flying inside of Team Gravity's own point bubble now. However, as you can see, Viatrex quickly slaps it away. Boop will take possession. They'll wait for their players to get in a slightly better position as they're trying to play it back a little bit more here. Affen will take it, sends it back to Viatrex, and now into the tube to send it further down the field as Boop is in position to send it forward. Tries to even go for a long-range goal there, but it is unfortunately going to miss. Yeah, so a really great little, little series of events there from Gravity. Some nice passing and another shot, but that said, they're just going to play it up slowly and Boop is going to lock in the two points, putting them, I'd say, a pretty good way out front now. Uh, Ouroboros doing a great job, but not quite able to break that last defensive line. Yeah, and once again, yes, like you said, it's the last defensive line. It's trying to line up that passing rotation. Something keeps getting mixed up in the process. Either Team Gravity just has good position is able to run interference. Their presence inside the bubble is too strong, and they just can't find a way to actually get the disc inside of the goal, or something else going amiss in the process of trying to get to the goal itself. Or, of course, unfortunately, just running into too many obstacles too quickly. And with under a minute now to make up a nine-point disadvantage, this is going to look very bleak, unfortunately, for them trying to come back in the series. Yeah, so Ouroboros are going to have to play this pretty super aggressive right now, which means it's going to go either one of two ways for the rest of this game. Uh, looks like they're getting up pretty well, so they are set up in a really great spot here. Oh, here it is. and we're getting a great goalkeeper stun and a three-pointer from range. Another a tactic that we've seen in NA quite a lot, but European teams do pick it up every now and then. Absolutely. Good stuff from Ouroboros, bouncing them back into the game and quickly too, taking only 14 seconds off the clock in order to score that. Still 30 sec six 15, seconds left. The 14, problem, however, 13, is the disc, of course, now switches to the other side. Gravity are going to start with it, and Gravity, as we've already seen multiple times, have the, their own capability to run passing rotations, which in this instance could just be used to delay those 36 seconds. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if Gravity try and play this short now and try and bait out the time. It looks like they're going for actually a really aggressive oh, fast left, and it's going to bounce. They have someone deep, which should be able to collect this. Oh, he's going to go for the two-man stack, leaving a player free with the disc. This looks like it could be another goal, and it will be from Boot. So a quick goal once again, but unfortunately into the favor of Team Gravity, re-securing and making up for the three points that was just scored by Ouroboros. They're right back where they started, except this time they've got 25 seconds less on the clock to make it up. So nine points in 24 seconds. It's going to be a tough ask to be sure, but let's see what Ouroboros is able to put up on the field here to try and make up the difference. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, like looking at that joust there where we were, we were hope or expecting a slow joust, then we're going with a really fast one, which is a great way to throw off your opponents when they're expecting you to play a slow one get really aggressive and as you see there sometimes it can extend that lead even further that said Ouroboros oh we're seeing a three man commitment here from Gravity they're just going for it and Boop just like turning it on a heel and just getting it in from halfway on a dime just looking yeah. to maximize the score at this point as they're now up to 18 over Ouroboros massive effort being put up by Gravity they didn't like how close some of those last games were so they're looking to get a showstopper here to close out the match yeah, definitely. Definitely sounds like it. I mean, the, the scoreline doesn't, I don't feel represents necessarily how 80% yeah, yeah, yeah. of this game has gone because it feels like Gravity has scored a lot in the last minute um, or minute and a half. But uh, Ouroboros is going to be coming out here. I guess they're going to try and get another another goal potentially. Really fast aggressive play might be a nice one to do here. Gravity are just com full on committing players at this point. They just want to see if they can extend the scoreline. So Gravity just getting booed back in goal. Ouroboros is going to have the disc and looks like they might be able to go for one more shot. And no, they're just going to get rid of the disc. It's going to bounce off the islands, no hope for that one. Gravity will take control of the second round, and that means the series is theirs as well. As well, a final score in round number two of 18 to 6, and a final series score of 2 to nothing.